guys welcome back to my channel for those that are just tuning in my name is Zaina um, before we jump into the video if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel I would absolutely love and really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button below we are actually doing a LA designer haul and I'm just gonna show you guys all the designer pieces that I've picked up during my trip here in Los Angeles if you do not like these types of videos then I don't even know why you clicked in <laughs> there's a lot of people that get offended or a lot of people that think people who do these types of videos are bragging about what they have but that is not the case um, I these are my favorite types of videos to watch on YouTube I love to watch um, designer handbag videos I mean purchasing designer handbags wallets and shoes is literally my poison like it's a my it's like the thing that I love the most like I don't really care about clothes I don't really care about like electronics or like phones or laptops or I don't know makeup I'm not really into makeup but I really 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 love designer handbags I think they're such a good investment piece um, especially if you buy classic pieces so I'm gonna stop rambling I have a couple of bags I'm gonna share what I bought I'm gonna share the prices with you guys in case you're interested in purchasing some of these pieces um, and yeah so let's get started I get a thrill for, from buying designer luxury items from a consignment store I I cannot fathom spending eight thousand dollars on a Chanel bag brand new from the store I just it's just like way too much for me so I always love to shop from consignment stores I always love to go vintage thrift shopping or I just simply like to go to the outlet so um, in California there is a outlet called Cabazon premium outlet mall if you guys come here you have to go to this outlet it is amazing they have all the designer brands except for Louis Vuitton and Chanel so they got Prada Versace Dolce & Gabbana um, Gucci they have everything except for Louis Vuitton and uh, Chanel so I went to Dolce & Gabbana first at the Cabazon premium outlets as I was saying my first stop was at Dolce & Gabbana and this is my first ever Dolce & Gabbana purchase so I obviously bought shoes and this is the dust bag that it comes with and I've been on the hunt for a pair of white sneakers and I just found these ones and I thought they were so cute so this is what they look like they are just super cute um, like I said I've been on the hunt for like the perfect pair of white sneakers and these are just so these are like perfect these were so these were regular 645 but I got them for 325 at the outlet so yeah I thought these were such a good steal I can't wait to wear them so that is what I got from Dolce & Gabbana okay next we're gonna move on to Prada so from Prada I also got a pair of shoes um, this was like crazy cheap you guys like I was I was shocked and I think it was because it was their last pair and it was like the display pair but again I don't even care but it was so cheap what are you doing Sam Sam what are you doing mama why is this so difficult okay there we go so so this is actually from Miu Miu um, in the outlet they have a bunch of Prada stuff and then they have a bunch of Mimu stuff in the same store. I love the Mimu packaging. It's just so pretty and all pink. I love it. So again, the shoes come with a dust bag and these are these super funky shoes. <laughs> um, obviously, they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but these I thought they were super cute and um, really different and they're like a baby pink I don't know if it's catching the color on camera it's like a really cute baby pink and they're so different I love them I got these for a hundred dollars a hundred dollars that's from Prada the next stop is Versace I picked up a few things from Versace the first thing I picked up are also shoes and I've already worn them during my trip but they are these super cute Versace slides 
they're also a baby pink and it's like a like a I don't even know it's like a towel material As you can tell, I've already worn them, and these were $2.25 at the outlet, but because I bought three items, I got like 20% off or something like that, so it came out to $1.80. So this was my first purchase at Versace. The second purchase was actually uh, two pairs of sunglasses, so this is the first. It just comes in a box, and obviously the case for them. And these are the first pair they're super fun and just like vintage looking I don't know I really like them obviously I don't really think that they're gonna protect my eyes from the Sun because they're like really clear but I don't know I really like them and these were only a hundred dollars so like I'm telling you guys if you find a really good outlet um, not only finding a good outlet but also finding an outlet that has and going at a time where there's a sale like all like this outlet always does like crazy sales on top of outlet prices during like july 4th or like like i don't know like american holidays or whatever um so i would always suggest finding a good outlet and then going at a time where it's like a certain holiday or something like that where they have even more of a sale on top of their outlet price so these are my first pair of sunglasses and my second pair of sunglasses um again were also a hundred dollars and they are these black i just love these i don't even these are so cute and so like, I don't know, they just give me like Audrey Hepburn vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're so cute. So that is what I got from Versace. Focus! Is it focused? Focused? Okay. Okay, so I think that's it for shoes and I think that's it for everything I got at the outlet. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. There's one more thing. So I actually went to Nordstrom Rack and I bought, this is actually a gift, it's not for me, but I found this Gucci scarf and you can't really tell because the camera's not really catching on, but the Gucci print is really faint, which I really like and it's this like beautiful royal blue scarf. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just super basic, but it's like such a fun piece to add to your wardrobe if you're just wearing like blacks or like neutrals or whatever. It's a really fun color. I think it's super classy and I like that there's the Gucci logo, but it's just faint. So I got this from the outlet and yeah, that's the last thing that I got from the outlet. So moving on to two super exciting purchases. I still have not unboxed these yet. So I'm unboxing these bags with you guys. I haven't even shown my parents or like any of my friends because again, it's still closed. I haven't opened them. So I've been on the hunt for a new designer bag and I saw this one at the Gucci store. So this was actually purchased at South Coast Plaza, which is in Newport, no. It's in Costa Mesa and yeah, I went to the Gucci store and I thought it was a good a good price for what I was getting. I never wear big bags. I always like to wear a crossbody, but I don't want my crossbodies to be too big and I don't want my crossbodies to be too small. So I just want like a medium sized, nice crossbody that's classic. This is so cute. I literally, I, I didn't even see him package it, but I wanted a medium sized crossbody that was gonna fit my phone. I have a big phone um, and fit all my stuff. So I thought this was going to be the perfect bag for that. So let's go ahead and open it up. I don't even want to ruin this, you guys. <sighs> okay, here we go. I think this is my first Gucci bag. Oh my God. I. Yeah, I think this is my first ever Gucci bag. That's so crazy. And again, I, because my designer handbag collection, hey, hey, shh, my freaking cats are fighting. Guys, just enjoy my, enjoy my luxury haul, okay? Just enjoy it. It's my first one. As I was saying, because my handbag collection is not that big, I'm still like growing my collection. 
I'm trying to stick to classic bags. I don't want to buy like funky limited edition bags. I just want to buy classic pieces that are investment pieces that I know will be timeless and that I could wear at any in any year and that's not just trendy and won't go out of style. So this is the bag that I got. I absolutely love it. I think it's called the Dionysus. I'm so bad with names. Um, this is the wallet on chain. So it is the perfect size for me. Um, and it's so, oh my God, this is like the first time I'm actually looking at the bag after I bought it. <sighs> Smells like Gucci. <laughs> um, so what I love about the bag is that it's so spacious. Cairo. It's so spacious. I can put my phone. I can put anything that I want. And they ha and it also has little like card slots right here. The interior is tan. There was another one with with a black interior, but I don't know. I like the tan interior be better. And this is actually this can be worn as a crossbody or it can be doubled up as like a shoulder bag. It is really cute. The size is perfect, and I think it was such a good price. Um, for what you're getting this could also be used as a clutch so you could wear this bag in three ways or even more if you get creative and yeah it's just a classic classic gucci piece cairo man so this bag um retails for 1300 us dollars i think so this is 1300 and there's a lot of bags that i i've seen at the outlet that were starting at a thousand dollars they're a new they were an older collection and they were just like meh so for me i didn't want to spend my money at the outlet and buy a whatever bag i would have rather you know which is what i did now i just spent 300 dollars more and i got something brand new and like you know a pretty pretty good like not a super old collection i got a timeless piece okay seriously a lot of the times I find I just buy like a bag at the outlet just because I think it's so much cheaper but I, I'm not in love with it I'm not obsessed with it and then I don't end up wearing it so this is like perfect I love everything about this bag and the sales associates at Gucci were super nice they were not pushy they were not trying to sell me on everything which I liked because I went into a couple of different boutiques and I just did not like the vibe in there so they were super nice and i'm super super happy with this purchase okay let me just put you back into your home okay buddy let me just put you back to your home and the last purchase was from louis vuitton so as i was saying to you guys i don't have any big bags I always like to carry crossbodies and smaller bags. So when I travel, <laughs> it's really difficult for me to fit all of my stuff in a smaller bag. So whenever I travel, I always travel with my Louis Vuitton speedy bag. And I just feel like it's going to break because it's like over... I just feel like it's going to break because it's overflowing with stuff. So I really, really needed a travel bag. And I was actually influenced by somebody here on YouTube. I don't remember who I watched, but I was watching like a designer handbag collection. And she had this bag and she was like recommending it. And she was like, oh my God, this is an amazing bag. It's perfect for traveling. Literally fits everything. So I was like, okay, I need to go check it out. So earlier in the video, I was telling you guys that that shopping consignment is not always the best option. Seriously, I'm going to freaking... Everybody wants to message me when I'm filming. Buying a bag in consignment is great. I love, 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 love buying secondhand. However, sometimes it doesn't really make sense financially. Like for example, this bag, I was looking at this bag on consignment and it was only $200 cheaper than buying a brand new one at the store. So that could be the case with a lot of the bags that you guys might be looking for. So I would suggest doing your research first, seeing how much the average selling price is at consignment stores and kind of figuring out what makes more sense for you so for me I was like I'd rather spend $200 and buy a brand new bag from the boutique so that is what I did so let's go ahead and unbox this bag <laughs> okay so you can tell it's a big bag <laughs> okay ready 
Oh. Duh. It's still wrapped in the dust bag. So this is the bag. You can definitely tell it's a big bag. And I got the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the GM size. I don't even know what that means. But this is the bag. It is so big. It is the perfect bag for traveling. And like I said, I was influenced on YouTube. And it has this beautiful hot pink interior. And what I love about this, focus, focus. What I love about this is that it also comes with a pouch. And this pouch alone on a consignment website, on many consignment websites, was selling for like 600, 650. And it honestly, economically, it just did not make sense for me to shop to buy this bag on consignment. So I am super happy that I ended up purchasing this at the Louis Vuitton store. It is like, again, it is the Neverfull GM bag and or tote or whatever and i'm so excited to actually wear this when i travel back to toronto it's going to be perfect and it's going to fit all of my stuff so yeah that is the new purchase that i got okay and last but not least this item i actually purchased at a consignment store here in costa mesa and the consignment store is called Second Street. They actually opened their location here in Costa Mesa about a year ago. And I went to their grand opening and I bought like two Chanel bags. I bought an MCM wallet. Like they had amazing, amazing stuff. Um, I think it's like based in Japan. Hi, mama. You wanna come say hi? Ew, uh, you have cat food all over you. Come say hi, mama. Say hi, Simsim. Sim. Okay, 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 just say hi. Just give me love, just give me love. One kiss, two kisses. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Anyways, so um, I actually obviously had to make a stop at Second Street during my trip here this time, and I found this beautiful Chanel um, coin pouch, Chanel wallet not it's not a wallet it's like a coin pouch or like a card pouch it is a navy blue color and it has their like signature rose petal um what is it called i'm so i'm so bad i'm so amateur with like names and like the history of these bags and i just really don't care i just like the bag it also has a little key holder thing and it is brand new you can see i don't you can't really tell on camera because it's super dark but it is literally brand new it has never been worn it is in pristine condition brand new and they always give you a authentication card um, whenever you buy a designer product from second street so this bad boy was 180 dollars a hundred and eighty dollars for this Chanel coin purse pouch key chain thing whatever you want to call it but it is such a good deal I got this this was such a steal I was so excited to pick this guy up and yeah I think that basically concludes this haul it is a disaster in this space right now oh my god it is literally a mess but uh, Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up or comment down below just so I know that you guys actually like these videos so I can make more and share more of my purchases with you guys. Like I said, these are my favorite types of videos to watch. I always love to see all the designer handbags that everybody has. It's like my favorite pastime and I stay up to like 3 a.m. scrolling on YouTube. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my Instagram if you haven't already, and thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.